This is part 4 of Bootstrap tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss Bootstrap 3 grid classes and their use. On this slide, you can find the list of Bootstrap 3 grid classes. Grid classes of a given screen size apply to that screen size and larger unless another declaration overrides it. Let's understand what we mean by this statement with an example. So here is what we want to do. We want to create four equal columns on both medium and large devices. To achieve this, I'm going to use four div elements and for each div element, the class is going to be equal to call-md-3. Notice I'm using three instead of star because we want four equal columns, each column spanning across three columns within the 12 column bootstrap grid system. So this is going to give us four equal columns, not only on a medium device, but also on large device. Because remember, grid classes of a given screen size not only apply to that screen size, but also larger screen size, unless we have another declaration overriding it. Since we are not overriding this with call-lg-star class, we are going to get four equal columns on a larger device as well. So I have this code already typed. So when we view this page in the browser, notice we get four equal columns. Now, if you look at a large device, the screen size is greater than or equal to 1200 pixels, whereas for a medium device, it's between 992 and 1200 pixels. Now, when we look at this browser, how do I know what is the screen size? Well, we can easily find that out by launching browser developer tools. So I'm using Google Chrome, so I'm pressing F12 to launch the browser developer tools. And look at this, as I start to resize the browser, at the moment, look at that. Right here, you can see the screen size. The first number is the width, so at the moment, we are on 1336 pixels, which is within the range of a large device. So notice on a large device also, we are getting four equal columns. Now when we fall to less than 1200 pixels, so now at the moment we are on, you know, 11,000, 10,000, 1093 pixels. So this is within the range of a medium device. So on a medium device, we are getting four equal columns. Even on a larger device, we are getting four equal columns. And that's because, remember the important point, grid classes of a given screen size apply not only to that screen size, but also larger devices, unless another declaration overrides it. Now let's see how is the behavior going to be on smaller screen size. So at the moment, we are using call-md, you know, the medium class, uh, medium device class. Now what is going to happen if the screen size falls below the medium device uh, screen size? So for example, next to medium device, you know, the immediate smaller one is small device. And for this, the range is between 768 and 992. So when the screen size falls below the medium device range. So this is now within the screen size of a small device. Notice what happened to these columns. They are stacked on top of each other with each column spanning across 12 column bootstrap grid system. So this is what happens on a small device. Now let's say we want to change the behavior on a large device. On a large device, I don't want four equal columns. Instead, I want two columns with three is to one ratio. That's on a large device. But on a medium device, I still want four equal columns. Okay, so this class is going to give us four equal columns on a medium device. Okay, now I want to override the behavior on a large device. On a large device, I don't want this to be applied. So I am going to use call-lg- dash. So we want the columns in three is to one ratio. So for the first column, you know, I'm going to make this span across nine columns within the bootstrap grid system. And the second column, I'm going to make it span three columns. So we get three is to one ratio. Let's do the same thing for the other two columns. So the first two columns will be in the first row and the last two columns will be in the second row on a large device. So I'm going to save these changes and look at this. When I reload this page, at the moment we are on a large screen size. 
So when I reload this, we get two columns within three is to one ratio. But then the moment we fall within the range of a medium device, look at that. I'm getting four equal columns. So on a medium device, we are getting four equal columns. On a large device, we are getting two columns with three is to one ratio. And on a small device and smaller, we are getting, you know, columns stacked on top of each other with each column spanning across 12 columns within that bootstrap grid system. So here we are overriding the behavior by using you know classes for both medium and large device. Now let's say we want to create two equal columns on a small device. At the moment what's happening on a small device columns are stacking on top of each other. Now I don't want this behavior on a small device. I want two equal columns. Now to achieve that I'm going to use call-sm for small device and we want each column to span across uh, six columns within that 12 column bootstrap grid system. So I'm going to use call-sm-6 and let's do that for all the four columns. So the first two columns will be in the first row of the grid, whereas the second two columns will be in the second row of the grid. So at the moment, we are on a small device screen size. Look at that. The moment I reload the page, we are actually seeing two columns of equal size. Now, as I increase the screen size, when we fall within the range of a medium device, we get four equal columns. On a large device, we get two columns with three is to one ratio. But whereas on an extra small device, you know, like a mobile phone, look at that, the columns are still stacking on top of each other. However, we can easily change this behavior if we want to by using this grid class call dash excess dash star. Now, at this point, if we remove, you know, all the classes except call sm-6, you know, we're only having the small class, I mean small screen size class, except that I'm going to remove all the other classes. So when we do this, you know, we get two equal columns on a small device and larger, whereas on an extra small device, the columns will be stacked on top of each other. This means with this class alone, we are going to get two columns, you know, two equal columns on a small device, on a medium device, and on a large device. Whereas on an extra small device, you know, the columns will be stacked on top of each other with each column spanning across 12 columns within that 12 column bootstrap grid system. Because remember, by default, you know, the grid classes of a given screen size apply to that screen size and larger unless another declaration overrides it. So I'm going to save these changes. And when I reload this, at the moment we are on an extra small uh, screen size, so the columns are stacked on top of each other. But as I keep moving, and when we fall within the range of a small device, notice what is going to happen. It is going to give us two equal columns. This is on a small device. And on a medium device, again, we have two equal columns. And even on a large device, we have two equal columns. So by now, I believe you have understood the use of these Bootstrap 3 grid classes. With these grid classes, you have complete control over the layout of your website on different screen sizes. Thank you for listening, and have a great day.